This is probably one of the most important videos for PMF because we cover different research studies based on different diseases and systems. Welcome to PMF training. Now, as you know, we have the musculoskeletal, then we have the bone and nervous system, and then all the different hepatic system, the renal system, and all of those can be supported with PMF to achieve a certain outcome. And the first one that I would like to cover is ATP production in your cells. Now, this was a viral infection, that's the cervix, with papilloma virus, which we all know, the genital warts. It's a very nasty viral infection that really causes havoc and is there's no treatment for it. There is actually no treatment that works. Now, what they did here is they used pulse electromagnetic field, um, boost ATP production, like I explained to you in the first video. We increase cellular membrane through that more nutrients, more oxygen and more glucose can get into the cell. We produce more ATP energy. That leads to an increased glycogen production. And due to the Schiller test they do here, they actually realized that due to the reappearance of glycogen, which requires huge amounts of ATP, the cell could start build up the defense of all the antioxidants, you know, glutathione peroxidase, catalase, and um, the other one, I don't remember. So if those antioxidants then start to protect the cells, the virus or the bacterial infection or any kind of inflammation will subside. And you can see here after two months, they came back to a completely healthy condition just using PEMF. And that is something that shows to me, if I use it on a daily basis, I build up my energy levels, I build up glycogen, I become immune to infections. Ta -da! Is that important in modern days? I certainly find so. Then we have chronic degenerative diseases in general, like osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, then um, lupus. There's so many AIDS, cancer, stroke, benign prostatic hypertrophy or uh, hyperplasmia, um, fractures. All of those things, unions and non-unions, delayed unions, osteoporosis, all of those respond to PMF. And that's why when you look at the studies, it's not fast. It's not like, ding, I do the treatment three times and then I have my bones back. It's a continuous process, but it furthers that process. It supports your body from healing uh, to heal and not the other way around. The other effect, which is really important, is that you have a pain relief by pain blocking and deferring. So it's for immediate pain relief. And my wife always says, oh, tummy cramps, tummy aches, bloating. You put the loop on, the big loop onto your belly and you just, you know, sit it right over your, your if you have one, I don't, I have one, you probably don't, but you put it right over your belly and you turn it to full power. There is no problem. The belly has not a lot of sensation. So you can turn it high up and pulse energy into your gut and you will find that pain, cramping and all of that subsides very fast. There is actually clinics in England that reduce all the painkillers and increase the use of PMF because of those effects that are working far stronger. All right, immune boosting. For those of you who have seen the video already in the, our cancer video, about PMF increasing the levels of um, energy within the blood cells, within your white blood cells is incredible. You have two forms of white blood cells. One that create an inflammation and go there and trigger a massive reddening. That's the red circle around the splinter, for example. And that is the first line of defense. And by creating that response, inflammatory response, all the other white blood cells are brought to the infected area and then they start cleaning up and reduce the inflammation. So both of those macrophages are fully stimulated and activated by PMF. And you can see that before and after videos in 
dark field microscopy and in electron microscopy, it's fantastic how they activate. Plus, due to the charging of the hemoglobin, these are the red blood cells. So if the red blood cells get fully charged, they take up more oxygen. And as that little white blood cell travels through that uh, mix of red blood cells, it can take oxygen right, left and center while it chases mold or bacteria or cancer cells and actually can use that oxygen to create hy um, hydrogen peroxide and kill those cells. That's why the combination of increasing oxygen utilization, oxygen uptake and release into the system, charging the red blood cells and stimulating your white blood cells is a massive boost for your whole system. Now, the next one is inflammation. And we all know a lot of people always think, oh, I need to reduce inflammation. I take curcumin and this and that. Well, first we need to look, why do you have inflammation? Is it because of bacteria? Is it because of toxins? Is it because of deficiencies? Is it because of, you know, any kind of parasites? And that's where we need to look at what is PEMF doing. It helps with killing off um, the infections. It helps with building up your glycogen and your um, ATP production so that you have more antioxidants to fend off virus. It reduces the bacterial infestation within the cells. It helps with heavy metal detoxification, deficiencies, nutrient uptake, stress level is reduced, the pain and the itching and the nervousness is reduced, and then you have trauma and um, parasites as well. So all of those are dealt with, which means the inflammation is always going down, and you can see that. Plus, it supports the liver to break down inflammation, inflammatory toxins in your system, because they need to be dealt with too, and that's why there is huge advantages. Now with killing off cancer cells, that's one of the things that Dr. Rao speaks in his videos because they use it as an adjunct cancer treatment. For example, if they do hypothermia, like I told you before, the big dome where you go in and create elevated fever and you have that fever treatment and you pulse beforehand onto your tumor, then the blood flow within the tumor is greatly enhanced, which is very important. So you heat the tumor up with that fever and you get all the nutrients directly into that cancer cell. So very, very powerful. Also, as he described, the membrane of a cancer cell cannot hold more than 20 or 30 millivolts because they are really brittle and fast built. They are not as sophisticated as a healthy cell. So when you have that um, overcharging, you know, with those negative ions and you charge the cell and you charge them past the point of 20 millivolt or 30 millivolt, they disintegrate, they fall apart. Again, that is how they use it as a cancer treatment in Europe. It's not an approved cancer treatment. So don't go to your doctor and say, I would like to have a PMF cancer treatment. They wouldn't know what it is but it is used in that respect. Now think about another factor. If I have a tumor and the tumor is always protecting itself with acidity outside around, lack of oxygen because it builds up that um, high acidic um, uh, film around in the area so that when white blood cells come, they fall asleep. Now by reducing that acidity, bringing in more oxygen, motivating and stimulating your white blood cells, you can see that within a very short time, your cancer cell, uh, your white blood cells, your macrophages, can actually go into the tumor and start destroying and killing off the tumor. And that's why it is certainly a factor that helps in many ways with cancer treatments. It's also known to be a very, very powerful factor as angiogenesis inhibitor. <laughs> you know, when, when your tumor is just a few blood vessels, a, a, a few cells, it actually needs food from a blood vessel in order to feed. And that's when you start using PMF, then you prevent the body from building blood vessels to new tumors, which means for 
uh, spreading of the tumor for moving it from one organ to the other until you have everywhere uh, infected tissue, you actually use that to stop that angiogenesis. It's an angiogenesis inhibitor. And that's very important to, to uh, understand that we can actually really kill cancer cells and stop progression and detoxify, which is the main reason for your cancer to start. And we can build up ATP and glycogen production and antioxidants so that we can deal with infections. It is a complete treatment that will help you. And like Dr. Gordon said it really well, it's not a cure, but it buys you time. And that's true. We have just more time, more energy to deal with the disease. We can apply sauna and more outdoor and more sunshine and more vitamin D and more nutrients that we fill into the body. We get rid of toxins, use more binders to really pull them out. And over time, because we have now more time, we can then defer the disease. So it is definitely a really effective treatment. For prostate swelling and prostate cancer, we have a complete different webinar and I'll blend that in so that you can um, join that if you're interested. It is an extremely effective treatment. As you can see, prostate swelling, both groups started out with 51 and 52, so pretty close. And the swelling went down with the PMF group to 44 and here was very little change. If you look at for PSA level, high PSA level, we went from 7.9 and 8. So both groups pretty similar, 3.4 to 6.2. And that was in a matter of 30 treatments. Now think about you have that device at home and you do that on a regular basis. You can achieve far better results. The IPSS is all the, you know, symptoms problems with peeing and not emptying properly and cramping and pain and, and all those things. So they had both groups in the questionnaire filled out 10.5, 10.1. The group with PMF went down to three and the other group to 7.4. And that was 60 people at the age of around 60 years old. So that's definitely a significant change. And with erectile dysfunction, which at that age is kind of a problem too, you know, you went from both groups between 12 and 13, starting ground. This group had a slight improvement just by using the supplementation, whereas this group went back to 18, which is mild ED. And again, I said it's only a few treatments they did, 30. So if you do that over time, you combine that with good supplements, you pull out more toxins, you detoxify your prostate properly, you can probably restore back to complete functioning. And this is where you can see that it's not a treatment you do once, twice or three times. It's an ongoing process until late age. That's where you need it most. It's like that plug into the wall and then recharge your cells. Like your toothbrush, when the battery is dead, you put it into a little charger and then it recharges with pulsing magnetic fields. In the same way, you put yourself onto that charger and then charge your body, you know, with those duck duck. It's probably on the highest level if I turn it on now. Oh yeah, it is. See, that's never good if you turn it on. So if I turn that on like this around the neck, suddenly it doesn't need the highest setting and I pulse, I have a magnetic field that incorporates my whole body, my whole head and throat, if I bring it up into my brain, onto my chest, my lungs, this is a recharge for all the cells to be fully charged and working properly again. All right, prostate swelling and cancer, another study, wound healing was expedited. You can see the group here with PMF, targeted PMF, 69%, whereas the others were all, you know, in a similar, in a similar untargeted PMF is the mat, where you have frequency, where you have half an hour to go through each frequency for one minute. And there was an improvement, but targeted was really significantly more. Depression, very powerful. If you look at the depression studies that are coming out now, 
they show significant changes and not because it's a treatment for depression, it's a treatment for detoxification, nutrient uptake, energy production, you know, all the things that really make sense. That's what I love about this treatment. It's actually a treatment that promotes health. It's not against disease. It doesn't care what disease you have. It just promotes health. And that's why it's such a beautiful thing. Depression, I won't go through that study, but you can see here after five weeks in a row, 50 patients went from 17 significantly dropped com uh, compared to the placebo group. For osteoporosis, nutrient uptake into the bone to build up new bone tissue is very, very slow, very, very difficult. Again, with PMF, significant change. Bone fractures, if you have broken bones, you can probably expedite almost by factor two your mending and healing of broken bones. Incontinence, you need a powerful device, a strong device for that, similar to um, prostate. You want to have enough power to pulse into the prostate, but it certainly, there is, there is clinics now that have PMF beside PMF and they pulse that magnetic field and it just strengthens your diaphragm. It re-establishes the power within your muscles, the blood flow, the oxygen supply, reduces the inflammation, reduces the infection. Again, it's not once, it's a few times, but you will feel that when you do that treatment, all of your little things here and there and all of your systems slowly move back into a balanced and healthy state. Multiple sclerosis, double blind study, you know, with 30 people. And MS is really a problem, you know, with getting the inflammation down and restoring a proper function. And that's what they managed to do, especially in regards to um, body functions. And again, our chart that I already had previously improves microcirculation. If we start from the bottom, uh, stimulates the release of endorphins. It makes you happy. You know, not like being a drug that puts you onto that, that high, but it takes the stress away. It clears brain fog. It gives you hope. As soon as you have more energy in your body, you know, if you're exhausted, everything becomes a bigger problem. If you have more energy, it's manageable. If you have more energy or energy galore, well, then everything is possible. So really, that's how those things work support your body's internal self-regulating. You know, when your cells can actually open and close to nutrients, they can regulate again. If they are blocked with nutrients and you can't get zinc into a cell or no magnesium, then you get stiff and then you get pain and aches and that all slowly disappears. All right, and that's it. And we'll see you in the next video where we talk about how long until I see results.